Good morning and welcome back to Children's Liturgy. Before we begin, let's gather the materials for today's activity. For today's activity, all you will need is some paper and some crayons or markers. Are you ready to get started? Because I am. Let's go. Let us now begin with an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, you give good things to all people even if they have not earned them. Show us how to use your gifts well in cheering up the downhearted, in helping those who are sick and are elderly, and in praying to you when we need you and when we think we do not. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In Jesus' time, vineyards were a familiar part of the landscape where rows of vines produced the grapes used to make wine. Wine was often drunk in preference to water as it was safer. Water usually had to be collected and carried from wells, and there was always some risk that such still water could carry disease. In today's Gospel, Jesus uses the image of a vineyard and its workforce to tell a parable about the Kingdom of God. Let us now prepare hearts for the Gospel. Treat people as you would like them to treat you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One day Jesus told his disciples this parable. This is what the reign of God is like. Once there was a man who owned a grape vineyard. One morning he hired a group of workers to pick the grapes in his vineyard. They all agreed on how much they would be paid for the day's work. Later that day, the owner hired a few more workers and said to them, Go to my vineyard to work and I will pay you what is fair. Then later in the day he found still more workers and sent them into his vineyard to work. Finally. At about five o'clock in the afternoon, he saw others of the town who weren't working and standing around. He asked them, Why are you wasting your time instead of working? They answered, Because no one has hired us to work. So the owner of the vineyard said, I will hire you. Go now to my vineyard and work for me. That evening, the owner called all the workers together to pay them for their work. He started with the ones he hired last. When they came forward, he paid them for a whole day's work, even though they had worked for only one hour. Now when the people who had worked all day came forward, they thought they would have been paid more, but they got exactly the same as everyone else. They started complaining and said, These people worked for only one hour, and you have paid them the same as you have paid us, but we worked all day in the hot sun. The owner of the vineyard said, My friends, I am not treating you unfairly. Didn't we agree this morning on how much you would be paid? So here, take what you have earned. I want to pay everyone the same. Am I not free to do what I want with my own money? Or are you angry because I am generous and kind? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The owner of the vineyard need to hire so many workers. Well, there are many different jobs to do in a vineyard. If the vines were going to produce a rich harvest of grapes, the vines needed to be regularly watered and weeded, carefully pruned at the right time to encourage strong new shoots and growth, and regularly checked and treated for attack from pests or diseases. At harvest time, the precious fruit had to be gathered before being used to make wine or dried in the sun. Workers in the vineyards were offered one denarius, which is at the time was equivalent to one day's wages for a hired man. Why did some of the workers grumble at the end of the day? Well, they were annoyed to see everyone receiving the same reward even when they had worked a shorter day. They thought that those who had worked in the vineyard longest deserved a greater reward at the end of the day for their efforts. The vineyard owner appreciated and valued the contribution made by each worker, regardless of their particular job or how long they had spent doing it. He understood that each worker had an important part to play, and it was only with the combined efforts of all the workers that a rich and fruitful harvest could be produced. 
What was Jesus trying to explain with this story? Jesus compared his kingdom to the vineyard in which his followers are the workers. Like the vineyard owner, he invites everyone, not always at the same time, to share in the work of producing a rich harvest in his kingdom. The efforts of many different workers doing many different jobs helps the kingdom, like the vineyard, to grow healthy and strong and bear much fruit. Our individual work in the kingdom is valued and recognized by God, and everyone is offered the same reward of eternal life when our work is completed at the end of time, regardless of how long we might have spent working there. For today's activity, we will be making some grapes and filling in the grapes with ways that we can be generous like Jesus. The first step is to draw a bunch of circles to represent the grapes. The second step is to add a stem and some leaves at the top of your bunch. The next step is to fill in the circles with ways you think you could be generous like Jesus. Don't forget to hang your drawing somewhere so that you can remind yourself of ways to be generous just like Jesus. Let us now close in prayer. Loving Father, as we make our way through life, let us help one another to follow the path that leads to your heavenly kingdom. Grant this in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for spending time with me at Children's Liturgy. Until next time, God bless. Bye. saving me thank you god for saving me rescue from the middle of the ocean deep rescue from the middle of the ocean deep you set my feet on solid ground you set my feet on solid ground i once was lost but now i'm found. i once was lost but now i'm found. everything i have you've done